Good day, mates. Hello, H cuties. I'm back from down under. Remember that big Lego game we did the other week? Yeah, I had to go all the way to Australia to make that happen. Oh, oh no, wait a minute. Looks like some of that southern hemisphere has rubbed off on me. Uh, let's see if we can fix this. A little koala jerky should do the trick. Ozzy, Ozzy, oxen free. Blah! There, that's better. How are ya? Yeah, woo! I'm back in the New York groove. The HQ crew had quite a trip to the Antipodes. I threw a few shrimp on the body, laid a sleeve of tin tams on Steve Irwin's grave, and took in Kangaroo Jack, the musical, at the Sydney Opera House, starring Leighton Hewitt in the title role. He was terrible. He's a tennis player, not an actor. I still don't know why he was cast. But I know why you're here tonight on this Sunday evening in mid-February 2019. Because it's Big Money Sunday on HQ Trivia, and it's also Pixar night, baby! Pixar, you ready? I am Lightning McQuiz, Rat Tat HQE, Alfredo Winguini Scott Wazowski, going up on a Sunday, living a host's life, live from Monsters HQ University, with all you good dinosaurs and small fries, including Anna and Mike in Westminster, Jace Deal, who has his own Pixar YouTube channel, he's probably gonna win tonight, Ellen, Molly, and Ken out in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, great to hang with you at the Taronga Zoo, Kathy Taylor and Courtney Hit Piss with birthdays, Hit Pass, Hit Piss, Hit Pass, and Michael Jordan, also celebrating a birthday, his 56th, of course, Michael Jordan is the Michael Jordan of being Michael Jordan. Who will be the MJ of HQ tonight? Huh? You? If you answer all 15 questions, you'll be rising to the heights of his airness and splitting our whopping, whopping prize, $10,000. That's enough to buy, or maybe not cars, plural, but perhaps a car, pre-owned. My first car was a 1987 Saab hatchback. Paid 2,800 bucks. Anything is possible! And it's possible to win more than money on HQ now. You're also earning points, of course, when you answer questions. Those points lead to levels. Levels give you free passes. And those are good through the entire season two, which is coming to an end very shortly. Yes, those free passes keep you in the game. If you get a question wrong, of course, every point you've been earning this season has contributed to that season finale jackpot. Let's check in on that pot right now. We're almost at 100,095. Well, hooey, how about that, folks? Just about at 100K. I think we're gonna get there. I think we're gonna do it. Extra lives, do you have one? You wanna use one tonight? You can, you can use one anytime. They're kinda like free, free passes. It keeps you in the game. If you get a question wrong, you can only use them once per game, not on the final question. Play five days in a row to get one for free. You know the story on that. But do you know the story of Finding Dory? Do you know the stars of Cars? Do you know how to play Jerry's game? We're about to find out on this freaking three-day weekend, baby. Happy President's Day. Happy Pixar Day. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty with over 600,000 of you. Just about 600,000 in the game right now. Let's get this show on the road. Kimuro, numero uno. What type of creature is Nemo in Finding Nemo? A trash robot, a car, or a fish? We got 600K in the game, baby. Merlin goes looking for his son, Nemo, of course. He's looking everywhere, mostly underwater, because Nemo is a gill-bearing aquatic cranium animal. Or a fish. Fish are friends, not food. 542,605 got that one right. Grab and shell for Q2, dude. Which of these is one of Buzz's catchphrases in Toy Story? I'll be back to infinity beyond, or yo, Adrian! I'm a little shaggy under the neck. Forgot to shave. Down in Australia. Didn't shave too much down there. Ah, uh, voiced by Jungle the Jungle's Tim Allen, the shaggy dog himself. Buzz goes through a lot of mishigas in the Toy Story movies, but one thing remains constant. His desire to go to Bed Bath and Beyond. No, to infinity and beyond. 541,573 have a rendezvous with Star Command at Q3 tonight. But before we get there, let me tell you about tomorrow, folks. We are turning up the heat. Tomorrow night, Hot Ones is becoming Scott Ones. Find out how much I can handle spicy questions, spicy hot wings. For every savage question, I'll taste another level of hotness. Special guest Sean Evans will be joining me as we spice up the night, 9 p.m. on Monday, President's Day. But we got more tonight, Pixar night, baby. Q3, which of these is one of the five personified emotions in Inside Out? Sleepiness, surprise, or joy? One of the more recent Pixar cuts, 
from 2015, starring mucho comedic talent, Bill Hader as fear, Louis Black as anger, Mindy Kaling as disgust, and Amy Poehler as Riley's joy. I, I'm joy, so... Can I just... If you could... I just want to fix that. It's you. Joy. It's you. Joy! Happy, happy, joy, joy. 488,250 are feeling joy tonight, riding the train of thought to Q4. What holiday is celebrated in Coco? Day of the Dead, New Year's Day, or Groundhog Day? I'm in love with the Coco! Who else? You in love with it? No subject is too dark for Pixar to put their grubby magic mitts on, not even Muerte, as we learn with Coco, which takes place during Mexico's Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos. It's a happy, colorful holiday celebrating life. It's not spooky, guys. 502,771 getting this one right. Recuérdame. You remember that? Do you remember Q5? What is the name of the villain in The Incredibles? Symptom, Syndrome, or Symbiote? The film franchise keeping Craig T. Nelson employed. Jason Lee took a break from the Alvin and Chipmunk movies to voice this flame-haired villain who wanted to make everyone super, so therefore no one would be. He's crafty. He's Syndrome. I'm Syndrome! Your nemesis in it! Brilliant. The former Buddy Pine. Syndrome! 436,772. You're brilliant so far tonight. Truly super. But you gotta go all the way to Q15 tonight. We're at Q6 right now. Which Pixar short famously centers around a dumpling? Presto, Bow, or Piper? You can't forget the Pixar shorts. Eat my shorts. This adorable little guy was introduced to theater goers who showed up early for The Incredibles 2 last summer. It's about an aging and lonely mother suffering from empty nest syndrome who gets a second chance at motherhood when she makes a bow dumpling that comes to life as a boy. It goes from bow to boy. How about that? And 370,000. 371 saying, oh boy, you got bow and you're getting Q7. The actress who voices the Axiom computer in Wally plays an unseen character in what other film? Toy Story, Cars, or Finding Dory. Now this is where we really start getting trivial, folks. The halfway point here. Who better to voice a Wally spaceship than a spaceship veteran Sigourney Weaver, whose voice also emanates from loudspeakers in Finding What Lies Before You represents the third and final part of the marine life mission. Did you find Dory at Q7? I hope you did. That was a tough one. Ooh, mm, oh, oh, we got savagery at Q7. Ouchie. Wowie losing about 300K in one fell swoop. 120,029 remain. Sigourney weavering your way through this quiz, finding Q8. Hopefully your, your levels or extra lives are gonna keep you in here. Q8. A Bug's Life was the first Pixar movie to do what? Show outtakes, show a live action actor, or win an Oscar. Oh, Wally was the first to show a live action character played by my favorite guy to go to the movies with, Fred Willard. And Toy Story won a special achievement Oscar in 96, but A Bug's Life started the adorable tradition of animated outtakes in 98. And action. And beyond! <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. A Bug's Life showing out takes, of course, a Bug's Life, aka not the one with Woody Allen. 97,110 knew this one. You, show me, you showed me outtakes, I'm showing you Q9. What is not one of the stations assigned by Remy to his rat cooks and rat tattoo? Fish, roasted items, or vegetables? Oh, do you remember this fun film? Pat Oswalt represents. After the health inspector shows up, Remy springs into action, telling his rat pack to chop chop and creating the best dining experience ever for that snooty critic, Anton Ego. Team three will be handling fish. Team four, roasted items. Team five, grill. Team six, sausage. Get to your stations. Let's go, go, go. Let's go, go, go. I heard fish, roasted items, grill, sauces, no vegetables. Oh, but we do have savagery, a savage sauce. Whipping it up, cooking it up in the kitchen tonight. 13,655, oh, the HQ manatee. You survived this one, rats off to you. We lost oh, about 100,000 there. To Q10, we go two savage questions. On my first night back in two weeks, how about that? Ooh, I'm getting warmed up and just 
you know, it's going to get spicy tomorrow, remember. I'm going to have to eat some stuff when it's savage tomorrow. Tonight, I can kind of relax, but... Oh, Q10. Randy Newman won his first Oscar for a song he wrote for which film? Monsters, Inc., Cars, or Toy Story? He may got a friend in me, but he didn't got no Oscar until his movie was released in 2001. Randy held the dubious honor of most nominations without a win. Fifteen! When his statueless streak was broken thanks to Sully and Mike Wazowski singing If I Didn't Have You. Didn't have you. Yeah, Monsters, Inc., Randy Newman. It got him that little golden statue. And we got another savage question at Q10. I don't believe what I just saw. Back-to-back -back jacks. Back-to-back -back AAU National Championships with Tom Amansky. 5,454 stamping that ink at Q10. Monsters, Inc., you knew that one. Do you know Q11? We're almost at Q15, folks. $10,000 on the line here. Six. 100,000 of you started the game tonight. We're down to about 5,000 players at Q11. What does the CDA team give the 22, the, two, the 2319 monster in Monsters, Inc.? Shower and shave, glasses and wig, or hot towel? 2319. Red alert, red alert. We got a 2319. Remember this iconic scene that I had trouble saying just now? 2319. Poor George Sanderson returns from the children's sphere with a sock stuck to his back, the Child Detection Agency, CDA, swoops in and tidies up the situation. <laughs> he gets a shower and shave in the quarantine unit. Our follow-up Monsters Inc. question here, 4,898. You knew this one. Well, if you knew Randy Newman, I'm glad you knew that one. Do you know Q12? What does one of the potential suitors do to impress Merida in Brave? Snaps a wooden log, walks on fire, or lifts a boulder? What does this guy or gal? Oh no, it's definitely a guy. Her Majesty Princess Merida is presented with a couple of real duds before besting them all in an archery concert. Remember? Remember that archery concert? She split the arrow? She wasn't impressed much, not even when that one oaf Snapped a wooden log with his bare hands. Take a look. Some of his bare hands vanquished 2,000 fools. He looks a little like my Scottish nephew Dylan. I hope Dylan grows into that, that big boy like that. 1753. Look at this. We got splitsies on this one. Looks like none of you really knew it, but 1753 definitely did. Vanquishing that question, competing in the H. Kulin games. At Q12, we're whittling this this quiz down tonight, folks. We have Q12. What was it? There was 13? 13. That was Q. Okay, 13. We got 13. We're here. We're good. Which Pixar film hinted at the never made Pixar feature Newt? Cars 2, Toy Story 3, or Monsters University? Almost got jumbled. We're back on track, baby. You can't stop us. Those creative folks at Pixar have a habit of hinting at future projects in their movies, and they did so with Newt, which would have been the studio's 14th feature film till it was hashtag canceled in the early 2010s. But squint, and you'll see a Newt crossing poster in Andy's room in Toy Story 3. Oh, that's trivial, folks. And we're down to 812. Just 812 remaining. Two questions left in this Pixar quiz. I don't remember ever seeing this few players at this stage in the game. We could be winning some real money tonight. I mean, I say we, it's you. I'm not winning anything. But 812 of you left here. Two questions left. $10,000. The penultimate. Q14. What stylish accessory does Bing Bong sport in Inside Out? A rainbow belt, fingerless gloves, or a striped tie? Bing Bong. Voiced by my father from another mother, Richard Kind. Oh, I love you, Richard. He's Riley's elephantine imaginary friend who wears a polka-dotted bow tie, not a striped tie, and who clearly stands style icon Madonna. Because Bing Bong be rocking those fingerless gloves, baby! Fingerless gloves is the answer 572. Treat yourself to a kind bar. You got that one right, but you gotta answer one more to win the game, to vanquish the foes. Q14. 
the final round on this Pixar night. You want to go on an adventure? Oh, we, we've gone on an adventure tonight, baby. We're going all the way up to Q15. $10,000 at all boils down to this. According to Andy in the final scene of Toy Story 3, what makes Woody special? He knows just what to do. He's a real cowboy or he'll be there for you. Cue the waterworks. Andy pulls Marie Kondo at the end of Toy Story 3 and Woody just didn't spark joy no more. So he gave him away to Bonnie, the little girl with a big imagination, who's gonna give Woody a good home. Andy tells her what makes his pal so very special. But the thing that makes Woody special is he'll never give up on you, ever. He'll be there for you, no matter what. He'll be there for you when the rain starts to fall. And 368, you just won HQ, baby! Woo! feeling oh so great splitting ten thousand dollars on Pixar night which means 27 bucks and 17 or 18 cents depending on how the cookie crumbles how about that that's big money that's some of the biggest money I've seen in a long time folks note seven eight five nine spacker per Perkabeth the biggest Pikachu fan apparently B spoon 92 good dog magic Empire hey a Mario guy Mario won Pixar night, go figure. K492, well, how many dollars is that on that bill? Is that is that a $27 bill? I mean, you won 27 bucks tonight. Congratulations to all of you. How about that? That was fun, Pixar night. 600,000 down to 368. Woo doggy. Thanks for the adventure. Now go have a new one. With Anna Roisman on HQ Words coming up next right after, truth, like right now. Really, stay tuned and come back Tomorrow night with me at 9 p.m. We got hot ones, baby. Spicing up the night. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Sean Evans, I gotta eat. There were three savage questions tonight. I gotta eat a wing when it gets savage tomorrow. I don't know what's happening. Share your results from tonight's show. Even if you didn't win, you can get more points by sharing your results. That's always good. Enjoy your day off tomorrow, folks, if you have one. President's Day. Think about all the great presents we used to have. Until I see you again, I'm Scott Rogowski signing off saying, when life gets you down, do you want to know what I, what you've got to do? Just keep swimming. Good night.